Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. We've got some rain and possibly some storms coming in for your Thursday, though overall the threat looks extremely low. I think the biggest issue for us on Thursday could be heavy rain, but even that could be impacted by storms to our south. It's a really interesting setup, and just like our last setup, it's really about what's happening to our south that's going to drive this. So let me show you what's going on. So you can see we've got a large storm system heading our way. If you look at this energy, this is pretty potent energy moving along the Gulf Coast, but that's the key part here. Look at where most of the energy is here, and it's moving in this direction. It's not moving up here. If you remember last week, we had a pretty strong system that started up here, and most of the energy moved up here. So, so far, what's happened is the last two systems have kind of split around the Carolinas. And oftentimes, when we see these Gulf Coast setups, something interesting happens there's big time storms down here that kind of block or use up all the energy or fuel and it doesn't quite make it up into the carolinas and i think that's what's going to happen as we go into tomorrow so let's take a look at some of the outlooks for tomorrow i'm going to turn off the uh, satellite imagery here and we're just going to turn on the day one severe weather outlook so you can see there is a low medium and even higher risk for severe storms along the gulf coast in our a paradigm for outlook so if you're the storm prediction center there's a little bit different nomenclature but we're going to go with low medium high because that's the setup we have and as we go into tomorrow that risk shifts east but notice all of the carolinas except for extreme southern south carolina are in a low risk and the reason that is is primarily because we've got that risk for severe storms staying to the south and then maybe a little piece of energy to the north so it's doing the good old-fashioned uh, Carolina split here where most of the energy stays south some of it goes to the north but what I do think is very interesting is there's probably a pretty good chance of some heavy rain because even though the severe weather stays to our south we potentially could see some heavier downpours so I'm going to turn off the radar and some of the other stuff here but what I want to pop up here real quickly is just the uh, heavy rain impact so the low medium high impacts you see some of the low and medium heavy rain for today this is today's outlook for tomorrow we're in the low risk so you know, I think the heavy rain risk will probably end up being our biggest issue. So let's look at the future cast, see how this all unfolds. All right, let's dive right into our future cast here. So we've got some scattered showers today, but we'll go through time and look at those storms to our south. I mean, those are nasty. So two things to notice here, and it's really interesting. You see the big cluster, we sometimes call this an MCS or mesoscale convective system. We've also got a cluster back here. But I want to watch, watch what happens. Most of this energy goes up here and this stays to our south. So in between, we're kind of left with just rain and maybe some scattered storms. So if I go through time, we go into tonight, you see how the heavier storms are to our south. And clearly this stuff down here is going to be using up a lot of the energy. This is where we're going to see the severe weather risk. Up here, this is probably just going to be good old fashioned rain. So we'll go through time. I'll zoom in here. Yeah, up to maybe Columbia, some big time storms. But I think most of what we're going to see over us is just heavy, heavy rain. This stuff down here is what we got to watch. There's actually some supercells that looks like developing and a squall line. So the potential to our south, much higher. For us, probably just good old fashioned, good spring thunderstorm rain. As we go through time, maybe mid morning tomorrow, the storms move through and then it pushes east fairly quickly. So the timing of the day and the fact that the energy stays to the south all works in our favor. Now the main low, kind of moves to our north there might be a couple pop-up storms in the afternoon and this probably is the highest risk for a severe storm will happen during the afternoon and evening if we see sun i'm not looking for widespread severe but there probably could be some hail because this is a pocket of cold air aloft and some hail or gusty winds with some of these isolated little cells but nothing off the charts looking at low risk overall and then this moves through and it gets really windy on the backside. Another big windstorm. And again, remember in, in, in April, April is the windiest month of the year. So we are going to see a ton of wind as we go towards Thursday night and especially Friday into the start of the weekend. Looking, looking at some of the parameters here, this is what we call the significant tornado parameter. We'll really look at this real quickly, kind of show you the setup. Let me move it up here just a little bit so we can go through time. You can see the parameters for significant tornadoes, not that big. There's a little uptick tomorrow afternoon. That's like I said, with that heating of the day tomorrow, if we get some sunshine, there could be a couple, but nothing that really jumps off the charts and says, yeah, that's widespread severe. We'll quickly look at the um, updraft helicities just to kind of see where we see the, the rotating updrafts. And again, rotating updrafts don't necessarily mean tornadoes. Remember, they mean severe weather in general. Um, sometimes we look at them for hail and damaging winds, but certainly severe weather. You could see nothing that really jumps off the chart here. The one thing you do notice is up here why you see the medium risk for severe storms 
up in here and then likely down in here because you can see that risk over us. Nah, this is kind of like not a big deal overall. Last but not least, we can look at the CAPE, which is basically instability or thunderstorm fuel. You hear us call this thunderstorm fuel all the time. Um, we'll look at this real quickly and you can see some shoots up here tonight into tomorrow, but overall not much until maybe tomorrow afternoon with the sun maybe coming out. So that's why I said if there's going to be one area we'll watch will be that late afternoon, early evening. But the heavy rain in the morning might work over the atmosphere and save us from any major severe weather. So we're keeping a close eye on this, but I'll be honest with you, this is pretty a low end risk overall. It's kind of your typical spring setup. We've been very lucky so far this spring. All the energy has not been directed at the Carolinas. Obviously, that can change. These storms are going to be coming every two or three days. With next week warming up, we're probably going to start to see that potential for stronger storms every single day as we get into April or May.